Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I'm having a mare of a day. When it comes to technology, I'm not having a good day. Uh, DJI, my little DJI thingy. Uh, it's broken. Don't know what's wrong. I'm going to have to check it out later on. Uh, I think I lost the guts of a good vlog earlier on, but still. Uh, then I went and dropped my dead metal steer on my neck into a load of sand while I was trying to get some footage of some lads that were actually uh, that were out fishing. Really cool, wonder if I actually caught something. Hang on, I'll spin you around. So down is Fana Bay at the moment. We go for a walk, I'm gonna go a little bit beyond sort of Del Duque area. Haven't been up that way in a long time, so thought I'd have a little wander up that way. Uh, if there's anything you wanna see or any hotels that you wanna see, just put them in the comments, I'll have a look. Uh, I do plan on fishing <laughs> safe, I'm having trouble with this. <laughs> oh man, technology and me are just not good bedfellows at the moment. It's just, okay, we're good. We're back in the, we're back in the middle again. Okay, forgive me if this goes a little bit squiffy, but it's highly possibly that it will. I just, for some God unknown reason, I'm having serious difficulties with technology today <laughs> to the point where I have to wear my glasses to see the screen which means I'm squinting here because I haven't got my sunnies on okay no more moaning stop stop complaining I'm walking in Tenerife it's 30 odd degrees and we're due a heat wave again don't know I did mention this in the previous vlog but I do believe I lost the footage because of that camera going going uh squiffy on me so we're due 37 38 degree heat wave so that's pretty impressive and even with my standards that's too hot now the selection of restaurants along here is just unbelievable La Brasserie. this is Fan uh, fanaby beach so fanaby beach is the other side of this uh I've done many a vlog along there. But the choice of restaurants along here, are, it's just fantastic. And you've also, in fairness, there's one or two, well, there's one particular one, uh, which I love. It's coming up now in a few minutes. And it's almost the length of this uh, promenade. La Brasserie is also quite a bit, as you can see, we're still passing the La Brasserie at the moment. So, goes from all the way down there to here. Let's have a look at the menu for you. It's not massively expensive. And this, if you want somewhere where there's a good view, you seriously you can't, you can't beat it. The sunsets here are something else. But then again, there's very few restaurants along here that don't have an absolutely beautiful restaurant, or a, a beautiful view. But sunsets are particularly special down this end because you've got the full, and you can't see it like a mirror today, but normally you can. It's quite a bit of a mist coming in. Uh, but now there's loads of little side streets along here, which I do recommend you have a little wander up. Uh, the Lukey Shopping Centre is up there. There's a lot of nice little, I'll do them another day. We'll stick to the main strip for now, but. We'll go off to the side. Now, Burger King burnt down the last time I was here and it looks like it hasn't been reopened. Azar. Okay, let's have a little look. I've never eaten here, but they've a fairly extensive menu. And in fairness, it's always busy. So yeah, maybe worth having a look. Now, El Gran Sol. I say it every time we're here. Absolutely amazing, fantastic at the restaurant. Well, little, it's not little, it's the whole, again, as I said, as long as I'm talking, El Gran Sol will be here. Have a little look here, yeah. Now, for the view, 
alone, this is not expensive. I've eaten in here several times, and in fairness, the bill rarely goes over 100 euro, and that would include drinks. So, uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Announcement. I'm going on a sort of fitness kick after this holiday. Uh, it's been, let's say, brought to my attention that I'm not as fit as you see. And I'm getting older, I'm getting closer to 60 now. I need to look after myself. And I'm turned into a couch potato. So, normally my weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, involves beer, copies of nachos, and junk, basically. And yeah, it can't be good for me. I don't necessarily look like I'm unhealthy, but yeah, I just don't know. So purely as a precaution, I've decided I'm gonna hit the gym again. Uh, I'm actually, actually, I'm involved in a, a wellness committee and work on a, on a mental health first aider in, in the company I work for. And uh, I'm not going that fit, not going that crazy. That would, you'll never see me run on the wheel. Not even for a bus, no, wouldn't even run for that. Uh, yeah, so I'm a mental health officer and I'm a member of this wellness committee. And we've got a huge amount of people work with, five or 600 people in the company. And as part of sort of an initiative of mental health, we're in the middle of organizing walking clubs and for the more daring hiking clubs, which I'm going to take part in. And we're also knocking on the doors of a few gyms in the locality where I work to see if we can find a corporate, get a corporate rate for, uh, for the gym membership. So plan is between the end of this holiday, so September, and my next trip away will be November. I, we're going to Paris myself and herself are off to Paris for the weekend. So I will be jumping on the dry wagon. No beer, no crap. You see, because I eat the crap when I'm drinking the beer. So the two of them kind of go hand in hand, so to speak. So I've decided uh, to knock the beer on the head, subsequently knock the crisps and crap on the head and see if I can get a little bit healthier. So uh, I'm not going to vlog it around like that, but it'd be interesting to see. But I'm saying it here because that kind of will push me to stick to it. The more I talk about something like that, the more likely I am to do it. And as I said, with the fact that we have this mental health awareness thing, initiative in work, it'll encourage me to do it. No, I'm fairly fit, I cycle into work, cycling out of work every day. And uh, I know I can hear somebody in the background already saying, but it's an electric bike, still has to be cycled. Still has to push the wheels. It does a little bit fit. I use the bicycle assist on it. So uh, it does keep me a little bit fit, but I do think I could try harder. It's beautiful. I love this end of Tenerife. Play a Fana Bay Beach Club. Now, this is where you'll find your high-end shops. That's Plaza del Duque. It's, I'll show you on the, on the way. We won't pass it, but we pass close enough for to it for me to show you where it is. And uh, yeah, it's it's all your your high-end stuff. And if you're looking for something that's not a knockoff, it's certainly the place to go. No mind you in saying that. I've often said that you'd be hard pushed to buy legitimate stuff when you're in Tenerife because there's so many knockoffs that people would assume that you're just wearing a knockoff. This 
just beautiful. Do you believe that gentleman down there is a guy called Emilio? Emilio, uh, I was drinking with Emilio last night. He's the chef on the island. And uh, he was actually telling me, we were actually talking about that, uh, the villa. We were actually talking about the villa up there. Yeah. Owned by, a, apparently owned by a Russian. And he was telling me that he regularly fishes just beside it. <laughs> I've just spotted him now. Uh, I left the bar last night. I was actually quite early, about 11 o'clock or so. So I'm some quite tired after the day of traveling. And uh, we'd had a few drinks with, with Emilio. We were chatting to him. As I said, he's a chef in the area and lives not far from where we are. So uh, yeah, he's a nice guy. So uh, I will actually drop down and say hello to him in a second, see if he's actually, see if he's caught anything. Not a bad way to spend your morning, is it? Sitting perched on a rock fishing. Now, what's the bet if I roar Emilio, he won't answer, or it won't be him. <laughs> no, it is him. <laughs> I'll have to go down and say hello to him. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna pause this for a second and I'll be back to you. Okay. I'm now so glad that I didn't shout at Emilio because that wasn't him. <laughs> I tell you, I really am having one of those days. It's just, <laughs> it's just one of those days. Emilio, actually, ironically, you would imagine he's Italian. He's not. Well, he's Italian. He's Scottish. He's actually a Paisley boy. He's actually from Paisley. But uh, yeah, I could have sworn that was him. And now I'm very glad that I didn't shout. That I didn't shout at him because uh, it's very clearly obviously it wasn't him that they got a little bit closer to him. Uh, really, I'm just having one of those days where things just start going right. That's not be a sign that something's going to go, that something good's going to happen. Uh, no, mind you, I'm not complaining. I don't exactly have the most difficult of lives. So, uh, to say that it's a sign of something good happening is kind of a mute because I, most of my days are good. <laughs> and I suppose, I think it's, I suppose it's a, it's a, a, you change the way, you change the way you see things. That's just so cool. You, you change your perspective on life. I think maybe when you get to a certain age or when you when you go through different challenges in life that you realize that <laughs> that uh, Hello. Hi, Brady. Excuse it's, uh, me. if you have a bad morning it's it's just that it's exactly that it's a bad moment in a bad morning it's not a bad day it's not a bad life I think that kind of sums up the way my day is going at the moment yeah it's not a bad my idea of a bad life is my Camera broke, but I had a spare one. There you go. So you find ways of turning what 
I suppose you think are negatives into positives. And beforehand, I would have got, I suppose, thick and probably even gave up on the day. But now, completely different. Look at this. What a great place to be pissed off with life. Just perfect. And this is Playa El Duque. which again, surrounded by some absolutely beautiful restaurants. You really, really should come down here because now I will tell you the restaurants down here are expensive. Uh, not massively expensive, but they're expensive by Tenerife standards, I suppose. And uh, you won't get your three courses for 12 quid down here. I can tell you, that you won't get one course for 12 quid down here. <laughs> but it's I don't, there's just a nice nice feel to this area it's a nice vibe to it i know i use that word a lot but it is there is it's just a lovely lovely vibe and in fairness spotlessly clean down here now in fairness tenerife in general is clean there's no question about that i know some parts of it the floor or the the, the the pathways can be a bit can be a bit messy but uh, that's all, it's just, it's not even dirt. A lot of it is from the palm trees. It's like a sap that comes off the palm trees. And a lot of the time that's what it is. It's not actually dirt. It's just, I suppose, the natural environment. But this area is exceptionally clean. There's actually a market here as well. I think it's on a Sunday. If it is, I might pop down and have a look. Let's check. Yeah. Check with the old Google, but it's kind of an artisan market here. Let's have a little look at this place for you. See what you think of the prices. Hamburger 30, it's, I'm saying it's actually not bad. And Restaurante. A canto. As you can see there, starters, 18, 20 quid. Pizzas, even the pizzas are like 20 euros, 8, 19 euros. And then goat's cheese, starter for 18. So yeah, as I said, not cheap, but the food is fantastic. The Torre del Mirador, I have eaten it, and I will recommend it because it, it, but you want to book it in advance, and I'm talking seriously in advance. And again, as you can see, cheese board, 22 euros. Starters are around 18. There's mussels there for 27 euros, and that's your starter price. Soup, 11, 14 euros. Even the salad, salmon, salmon, sa salad, salad. <laughs> Salmon salad, try that again. It's 22 euro there. Just salmon tartare. 32. But it's worth it. It's kind of a treat place, there's no question about that. You wouldn't be eating it every day. Uh, but this is the view you get. And there it is there. The Torre del Mirador. I'm going to finish up here. Thank you for watching to the end, if you have. Uh, numbers are creeping up every single day and I'm very grateful to everybody who subscribes and watches, hits the thumbs up, comments, anything. All of those things drive the channel and mean that I can do more and more of these for you. So, if you like what you see, hit the like, hit the subscribe, bell for notification, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.